Call from Angie. Ban Banji Danji. Angie. Angie. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a cool. That's a cool name. I've never met. I are. I'm assuming. Are you a? Um, do you present as a man or a woman? Oh, I'm a man. My name's uh, I've never my full name like Angela. I've never heard Angie. Ever as a, as a man's name. Your full name is what? Uh, Angela. Angela. Angelo. Angelo. Oh, Angelo. Okay, now yeah, I get. All right, Angelo. Now that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm calling because uh, I was dropped on my head as a kid, and not as a joke, like okay. legitimately. And so I have memory issues, uh, long-term memory issues. So anything like more than like six weeks, I'll completely forget. Someone in the chat said not as a joke. I would hope that you were not dropped on your head as a joke. No, no, I meant like, you know, people will say like, oh, well, you dropped on a oh, yes, head yes, of the kid yes. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. No, yes. I was in a, I was in a, like, one of those high-backed bar chairs um, when I was like two, supposedly. And uh, I was pushed back, fell on the back of my head on some tile. Jesus Christ. I can't imagine. What, 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 what did your, like... What the fuck? How would your parents, like, how did your parents react when that happened? I don't know. It was two. Have they, I mean, have they told you, have you talked to them about it at all since, since then? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, they were worried, so they, br they called in the ambulance and shit. And I, uh, I had to have, like, staples put in the back of my head to, like, piece my skull together. And so I still have, like, scars from that. Uh, on my hairline. So they were worried, I think. I guess, I'd assume. I'd, I'd, I'd assume as well. Yeah. But, um, this, uh, this memory thing, have you ever watched, I can't remember what the movie's called, like 100 First Dates or something, where Adam Sandler goes on a date with a chick who forgets everything the next yes. day? Well, I've never yeah. watched it, but I know what it is. You know what it is, okay. Um, I watched that, and it's such bullshit, um, I should say, based on my own experience, because there's no way you can remember something and then you fall asleep and then boom, it's all gone. It's more of like a gradual thing. Uh, but the other day, I was um, hanging out with my girlfriend, and I was going on about um, this new game, Among Us, and I was, like, telling her how awesome it was. And I was like, we should play it sometime. And she looked me dead in the eye. And she's like, Angie, we were playing that two days ago. And I was like, no way. Because that's too soon for me to forget. Like, my memory is pretty good short term. And she convinced me and, she, and, like, pulled out her phone and showed me that she had the app. And I don't know. I kind of just sat there and wa I kind of like looked at her. And I'm like, is this shit getting worse? Am I going to forget everything? How, how often do things like this happen? Well, things, things that quickly, not often. It's like normally it'll be uh, someone will talk about something we did last year, right? So a, lo okay. a long enough time where um, uh, my hippocampus, which is what's messed up, kind of just deletes it all, right? So they'll be talking about, or I'll see myself in like a picture from a camping trip I took three months ago, something like that. And it'll be me. Like I can recognize myself in the picture, but I don't know. I can't recall any memories from that event or like anything leading up to it. How long ago was, was was the Among Us thing between when you forgot it and when it happened? Uh, when we talked about it, it was two days. Two days. And you and, and before that, you'd never forgotten something that was only two days old. I mean, shit, I've forgotten things that are... Like, I can't remember what I ate for dinner last night unless I really think about it. But 
uh, you know, my girlfriend, she's a great, you. yeah, she's a great, she's a great chick. And like, I remember almost everything we do for like a pretty long time. Uh, so that I feel like should have lasted longer. Did you, did you, did you talk to a doctor about this? About like, do you, like about that, do you feel it's getting worse? Not about it getting worse. I kind of have a thing right, with doctors, man, right? Uh, so you said you're a doctor's man? No, oh, you no, have a no. Thing, you have a thing with doctors. You have a thing about Yeah, well, like, mm -hmm. um, and my parents, ha so a lot of times people have to remind me how, uh, like, why I feel certain ways, but, like, doctors scare me, and so... Mm -hmm. Um, my parents basically keep, you know, I have this book that I basically keep and I, I like read it often to remember, remind myself about certain things. And like the one entry I have for doctors is just like, they did a lot of, so they tried fixing me, I guess, with psychotherapy, which is when you, um, it's kind of like normal therapy, except they try to like access your memories, kind of like hypnosis, right? But that shit doesn't work. And instead, it just like, imagine if you were put under hypnosis and they're trying to bring you back to a memory, but instead of a memory, it was just emptiness, like darkness, there's nothing there, right? So you still go there, but instead of remembering stuff, you're just like, non-existent so it's like a corrupt file where like you can see the file but you can't yeah. open it that you know sense. something's yeah. there right it's like it's it's like an emptiness in a box right something's supposed to go there and maybe you can see the outline of it you can't actually like take out the lego set and build it how does memory therapy what do they do to try to access your memories well so i have a call each week well it's a call now because of covid i used to go in and like sit with a person right um but basically it's like how you you see like hypnosis on tv so i was supposed to get all relaxed close my eyes and just like breathe deeply and then they'll, they'll like walk me through my memory by going like, okay, remember last Thursday night it was two days ago. Think back to that night. Okay. Can you imagine that night? I'm like, yeah. And I can tell them stuff and they'll like start to go further back than that and further back than that. And when I was going like the last time I went to, um, a couple of weeks ago, I get once a month, I'll be able to go in even with COVID. Um, they just have the little, little stickies on my forehead and on the back of my head. And so they measure, um, I don't know, brain waves. I don't know, something like that. And they basically like, look at that, ask me stupid questions. And then I start saying like nothing. Right. And they're like, well, just think harder. Remember harder. I'm like, the fuck, how you do that? I'm trying here. It's impossible. Try walking through a wall. It doesn't work, try harder, right? Do you feel I like... Does, this, can I, this might be a corny question, and maybe yeah. it comes from a weird place. But do you feel like the fact that you can't access your past as well as most people can gives you... allows you to live better in the present? Sometimes, like this to me is just like how my life is, not a big deal. But sometimes I listen to people and they'll like tell me a traumatizing story from their past, right? Could be any number of things. And when, I, and when I think of being in their shoes and like having to remember that every day, Jesus, can you imagine that? Well, I guess you got, that's how you are. But like, if, so like, I've broken bones and stuff, right? Um, and I only know that because my parents and my siblings tell me, and it's it's one of the things in my journal like that I keep up with. 
And I just can't like, do you, can you remember pain? Can you like, can I remember think that? pain? Yeah. Like, have you ever broken a bone? No. Okay. Have you ever, <laughs> I guess that those, I, I, mean, I don't know. What's something like really painful. That, I'm trying that you to can think. Recall? Yeah. Like, yeah. Painful. I, I've never had, like, a lot of physical pain, but I guess, like, mm. so you're, I mean, so you're kind of, like, would you say you're more or less, like, medically impervious to trauma? Um, so, yes and no, right? So, like, I was talking about with doctors, like, going to a doctor's office or, or talking to someone that I, I know is a doctor like gives me anxiety even though there's no reason for me to have anxiety right like because i can't remember all these tests they do besides the weekly thing and like sarah who's who's the person i see each week she's like chill she just you know she's not that bad but for whatever reason like when i go on the call or when i go in i sit down like my hands are all clammy and i like kind of start to shake and like breathing is hard and and all of that, according to them, is like past trauma. So it's not that I don't have it. It's just like instead of knowing why it's happening, it just kind of is happening, you know. Interesting. So you're so you you're not impervious to trauma. You just kind of feel it without knowing, without having like a a, a place to to bring it back to, an origin. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Like so, if you I, watch a movie wonder, and they're like, "Oh yeah. shit." Something, something bad is going to happen. Like, that's, that's exactly the feeling it is. Like, you don't know what's behind the dark door in the basement, but, like, you know if you open that shit, it's going to be something that pops up and bites you. Do you feel like this is one of those... Do you feel like this is a situation in which y your condition helps you or hinders you? Because you, at first you, because at first you were kind of talking about it like it was a good thing. Like you hear people talk about their past trauma, and you're like, "Oh, I couldn't imagine that." I guess it's 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 like a double edged sword, right? The bad stuff no one wants to remember, unless like maybe it teaches you a lesson or something. Like don't put your hand in the fire or whatever. But other times, right? I'll be sitting around and it'll be like a really good moment. Like the other weekend, me, uh, my girlfriend and one of her friends ca came over and we're all just like chilling. We had a, I was like really happy in that moment. And like suddenly it'll like dawn on me like shit, I'm going to forget this. Like I'm never going to think back to this in a couple of years and, and be able to like re-enjoy the moment. So it's kind of a weird pressure to like make every day count because like it's only that day that counts, not the past 24 years. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel, I thought, I feel like we, there's gotta be a way we can link this back to the, the fucking camping guy. There's gotta be a way we can link this back to the camping guy. The guy so that the camping guy take thinks, edibles? Yeah, the guy who wanted to take edibles. Because mm. you... All you have is... I guess you both are kind of dealing with the same thing differently. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but... You feel like you only ever have today. You don't feel like you even have yesterday. Well, I do. Like, I, I have yesterday. I have the last couple of weeks. You know, up to maybe... I don't know. When was, when was June? How many months ago was June? I remember celebrating my brother's birthday right um uh two months ago two months okay yeah that's pretty decent so like i guess i i mean the re main reason i call is just because that's like your topic right i don't yeah. want to i want to like throw something out there but i don't know you've raised some good questions i guess i guess it's like living in the moment to the extreme right where it's not saying you should live in the moment it's saying you have to live in the moment, so what are you going to do with it? Ooh. Yeah. Do you find... Do you... You, ha you, you feel like you, you have to... You're, you're forced to live in the moment. More than like... 
Well, it's not so much a force, it's a want, you know? When I was hanging out with my, my girlfriend and, and her friend, like, I realized that I had to, in that moment, enjoy every second that I got, right? Because, mm-hmm. because like, it's then and there. You know, taking a picture of it or something, or writing it down in my journal doesn't, like, do the same thing. It's just, like, ignoring everything else, putting my phone away, and, like, focusing on on them, like, right then. You can't remember things through journals and pictures? Well, it's like not the it's not the same way. It's so like if I wrote down this conversation and then looked at it a week from now, right? I'd remember it as in as I'm reading the journal note, I'll be like, Yeah, I remember calling the geck. We're talking, having a good time, explaining who I am, right? But then anything anything more than three or four months, you know, six six weeks is like the solid stuff. Anything three or four months? I can read I can read a note and like the only reason I know it's me is because my handwriting is absolute shit and so no one can copy that, right? But besides that, I don't I don't know what the words mean sometimes. Like like I'll describe something that happened and it's almost like writing or like reading someone else's journal. Like if I broke into your house and like found some weird diary that you keep under your bed and I read it and then I had to convince myself that everything that was written down was, was stuff I did. Wow. That makes sense? Yeah, like reading someone else's journal. Yeah, like the words make sense and the things, like you can imagine the things that are written, but it's not you like imagining you doing or being in those situations. Interesting. The weirdest thing though is I live in a state where like weed is super legal. And so um, there's some residual pain from the injury too. So I get medical marijuana. But sometimes nice. when I get really, really high, I, I think that I remember stuff. But I'm also so high that it, it could just be like the high, you know? I don't know if I'm like chasing something that's real or I'm just making up stuff in my head. You ever, you ever asked your doctor about that specifically? Yeah. Like... Well, so, yeah. Sarah basically said that weed is like the opposite of what I should be doing because it has memory loss properties. Um, and so she kind of shrugs it off as like me just kind of imagining stuff. It's kind of hard to talk to her about alternative methods. Um, I don't know. I feel like every time I bring it up to her, it's like, no, this is the only way to do it. Like, this is this is how science works. And I'm a, I'm a big trust. I feel a lot of trust in the science, so I don't want to just like blow her off. But I think if you go, I mean, she's like fucking sixty or something. So you go your entire life only knowing one way of fixing something. I mean, you know, like if you walk, if you walk your entire life being a hammer, then every problem is a fucking nail. And I feel like that's how she is with this. Like the other stuff, the the other people she talks to are like trauma based. Can't remember stuff because they're blocking it mentally. Right. If I could unblock all my memories, dude, I'd do it. Even the bad stuff just to get it all back. Or I wait six weeks and I forget about wanting to do that and then we're all good. I'm I'm glad that, um, that you felt comfortable enough to share all this with us, man. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, this is, it's what this I'm looking very for at the moment. For sure, for sure. Uh, I hope that, you know, I hope that talking about this, I don't know if it made you feel better, but I hope it did something for you. Well, you know, I'm living in the moment, right? And like, yes. 
hundred percent of my attention for the last whatever fifteen twenty minutes has been has been between you and I, and I, I will cherish that as long as I remember it, <laughs> which isn't saying much, but it's it's all I can do. That's that's that that's saying a lot, man. And uh, and I, and again, I like I mean it. I appreciate you, uh, uh, you know, being being open about this. It's uh, it's very interesting. Um, Thank you. And I, I know mean, people a- want to get on the phone line, so I, I'm gonna hop off. Let the let some people that can actually remember shit get on here. But I just want to thank you, Gek. You're amazing. Everyone, everyone that's on here, I'm not looking at the chat right now, but whoever's on here, you guys are amazing. If I remember you later on, I'll say hi, and uh, have a have a good Wednesday. Beautiful. All right. You you have a good night too, Angie. Take care, man. Peace out, guys. Thanks again for calling. Have a good night. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna close the line real quick. Sorry, I had to fix my pants. Respect to Angie. Kind of like, I mean, like he said, I don't know if he'll if he'll remember this, but he is living it. He's living in the moment. I love, I love that. I love that, man. I, 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 I hope I interpreted everything that he was saying. Um, you know, accurately, but yeah, he, the moment's all he's got. So he just lives in it. Because he can't live anywhere else. He can't live in the past. Because if you don't remember it, so he lives in the present. So that's a fucking um, interesting, I like what, he said, he had so many, he, this, he had so many lines. This man had so many lines. I'm trying to remember all of them. I, I remember um, the whole thing of like, you know, I'm, I live in the present not as like a challenge, but because I have to. You know, what else can you do? And then, she, and then he, had, fuck, he had one other line that I, that I forget. Hey, what's up, Lasagna Lucifer? Thank you, Ella, put him for that sub. He had one other line. I forget what it was. I'll go back and I'll find it, but but yeah, Angie, thank you for um, thank you for sharing that, dude. That was um, appreciate you being open with us. It was very interesting stuff, and I hope you feel better, and I hope that um, you enjoyed living in that moment. <laughs>